Rob and I are back to preview last year's national runner-ups to Jamie Dukes. And Rob, it was another phenomenal season for JMU, knocking off FBS opponent East Carolina to start the year, going undefeated once again through conference play and capturing another CA yeah. title, and ended with another national championship appearance for the second year in a row. Yeah, JMU has taken its program to another level in two seasons under coach Mike Houston. The Dukes are a perfect 16-0 in CA football game since his arrival and had a 26-game winning streak before dropping a tough 17-13 decision to North Dakota State in the national championship game last January. Jamie's the first team in more than 30 years to capture three straight conference titles and the first in 40 years to go undefeated in late play in back-to-back -back seasons. With the quality of teams across CA football, it's really an incredible accomplishment. Mm -hmm. The Dukes were the overwhelming choice to claim the title again this year, despite returning just five starters on both sides of the ball. Everybody in the league will be coming for them, but this is a team that seems to enjoy the challenge. As you said, only five starters returning to the JMU offense, and that includes figuring out a way to replace their leader and quarterback, Brian Shore. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be easy to replace a guy mm -hmm. who basically rewrote the JMU record book in just two seasons as a starter, yep. and was the heart and soul of that offense. Now, it appears to be a battle between Cole Johnson, who has served as the Duke's backup quarterback for the past two years and has played well in limited action, and Ben Dianucci, a transfer from Pitt who started six games for the Panthers a year ago. Now, whoever wins the starting job will be surrounded by plenty of weapons. JMU is loaded with talent and experience at running back with the return of Marcus Marshall and Trey Sharp, who both rushed for over 750 yards last season, as well as six-year player Carden Johnson, who ran for 265 yards in the win over East Carolina before suffering a season-ending Achilles injury in Week 3. Two of the team's top three receivers return with David Eldridge and Riley Stapleton, who had a breakout performance during last year's playoff mm -hmm. run. There's also a great deal of size and depth on that offensive line, led by preseason All-American Jahi Jackson. The Dukes have led the CA in scoring offense for the past two years, and this year's group has the ability to continue the streak. Here is Coach Houston addressing the quarterback competition and what he expects out of his offense in 2018. Well, you know, the biggest, biggest challenge is replacing the quarterback. You know, and Brian leaves JMU. Uh, you know, the statistical leader in virtually every category that there is for a quarterback. You know, so a great player. Uh, you know, that being said, we have some quality players vying to replace him. You know, whether it's Cole Johnson, who's been here for two years, or Ben Dianucci, who, you know, transferred and walked on this spring and is in the competition now, or Gage Maloney, who, you know, is recruited out of high school as the player of the year in the state of South Carolina. So you have quality players right there vying for that position. But, uh, you know, whomever wins that job, I know they're going to be a quality player. Uh, but, you know, we don't need Superman at that position. You know, we, had, we have great depth at the running back position with three seniors who have all three been all-conference in their career. Uh, we have tremendous experience coming back at the wide receiver position. You know, Riley Stapleton is not preseason all-conference. You know, to me, if I'm Riley, that's going to tick me off because I think he's one of the best in the country. Uh, on the offensive line, we don't have a senior, but at the same time, we have as, as good a depth and experience uh, and, and ability coming back as we've had since I've been there. So, you know, we don't need the quarterback to be Superman. We need him to be somebody to lead our offense, uh, put us in good situations, not make the big mistakes, uh, make the right decisions, you know, be the guy to help the machine operate at a high level. On the other side of the ball, Rob, this defense was the best in the country and a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. They will have to replace some veteran leadership at core positions this year, but the back end of that defense will be awfully tough, led by this year's CA preseason defensive player of the year, Rashad Robinson. Yeah, the numbers put up across the board by the JMU defense last season were eye-popping, but one of the most impressive was 31 interceptions, which is the most in the nation and tied a CA record. The two guys who account for nearly half of those pickoffs are back, and senior cornerbacks Rashad Robinson and Jimmy Moreland, who are both pre season All-Americans, along with Curtis Oliver, they give the Dukes one of the top secondaries in the FCS. Yep. At linebacker, Bryce McGinley is the only returning starter, but Landon Word saw significant playing time, and former starter Dimitri Holloway is back after missing most of last year due to injury. Now there's some holes to fill on that defensive line, but Darius Carter is back after recording eight and a half sacks last season, and Jamie's expecting a big year from Rondell Carter. The biggest difference in the JMU program under Mike Houston has been the improvement defensively, and while I'm not sure if they can match last season when they allowed just 11 points and 252 yards per game, they should still be pretty solid on that side of the ball. Yep. Once again, head coach Mike Houston on his pair of shutdown corners. Well, I think number one is, you know, those turnovers and those interceptions, you know, they're a group effort, and our guys understand that. You know, the fact that we had a dominant defensive front, that's the reason for a lot of those interceptions. You know, if that quarterback's harassed and he's having to make a, a hurried throw or a harassed throw, then it may not be as accurate on time as it would be if he had all day back there to throw. So, 
a lot of the success of the secondary comes down to the performance of the defensive line and vice versa. You know, we also led the nation in sacks last year. It comes from tight coverage in, in, in the secondary. But, you know, Rashad and Jimmy both have, have uh, you know, the ability to play, you know, press man coverage. They can play off man coverage. They're very good zone players. Uh, they both have good ball skills. They understand our scheme very, very well. They understand how to disguise our scheme. Uh, so, you know, I really have a lot of confidence in those two guys. Uh, Curtis Oliver and Charles Tutt are both returning uh, from injury last year, so they have some experience coming back. So really it's going to be, you know, getting those core veteran guys and the newcomers on the same page and playing together within the system, effectively not making mistakes uh, and able to take advantage of the opportunities they have to, to create turnovers. The Dukes are coming off another amazing season as they handled that bullseye on their back quite well last year. Should be familiar territory once again for this team in 2018 as they look to once again be national title contenders. Yeah, as we said at the outset, Jamie has gotten used to being the biggest game on everyone's schedule, and they've been able to rise to that challenge. Yeah. There are a lot of new faces in the starting lineup, but with the amount of returning talent and a promising group of newcomers, the Dukes rightly enter the season as the favorites to win a four straight CA title. As great as last season was, you kind of get the feeling that that loss to North Dakota State in the national championship game has provided plenty of motivation in the yep. offseason to make a return trip to Frisco. The keys will be settling on a starter at the quarterback position and seeing if that defense can maintain the high standards it reached a year ago. The Dukes kick off their season on the road at NC State on Saturday, September the 1st at noon, nationally televised on ESPNU. Also CA football fans, we caught up with a couple of JMU student athletes at CA Football Media Day. Check our features out now on CAFootball.com and the league's social media outlets. We wrap up this week's editions of 12 Teams in 12 Days on Friday as we take a look at the main Black Bears. Have a great day.